Hello, welcome to Fins and Tails. Si Ryan is back here in my uh, fish uh, area. So today we're gonna feature this uh, simple koi pond uh, which I renovated. Old school koi pond uh, was uh, renovated. So what we did is we added more uh, more chamber for the biomedia. Then, uh, by the way, it's uh, this pond is uh, dimension is around 10 feet by 10 feet by three and a half feet deep. What I did is the old school filter. Later we're gonna show you. I remove the chambers, so make it one long chamber, uh, more or less pattern uh, to Eric, uh, Eric filter system. No? We remove the poles. We added a long poles for the pumice media, and then I want the water just to creep down, not a big poles or a long poles, so we don't have to use a. a bigger pump, water pump. We use a PB20,000 liter per hour per half pump for the water pump. And then the aeration, we just turn it off so you can see the koi. Uh, it's uh, part of a Fujimak air pump which drives six Matala discs. One disc for this koi pump and the five bits for the other tabs. So uh, currently uh, it's running around three weeks running. Uh, I'm just using 25% of the chamber. You miss Muna, say you know Muna budget. Then we're going to add the K1 in the middle media and then another media for the first part after the mechanical part. I have here is a coil of me and my partner. I have a partner, we're going to put up a farm in the future. So for now, we just place it here. Uh, we try to grow it. And uh, these are our import coils, mostly from Koi Hub. We feed them five to six times a day. So I just estimate it that they can use it for uh, 10 minutes per feeding 10 to 15 minutes so I want them to be bulkier so we're using an Ishiki way feed so it's available in the market uh, mostly now in the Mindanao area only no? so this one is uh, made in Taiwan 40% protein the high quality pellets but very affordable maintenance wise uh, we just touch the mechanical filter then we can drain the lower part of the bottom of the media so that we can remove the muck every time we clean so once it's drained out we add new water then run again the system as i said kanina uh, so we're using uh, one pereja and then also one uv in uh, 40 watts very good ang pereha kasi inverter so once na may fluctuation or uh, mag restart siya medyo may soft starter hindi bigla, hindi bigla. Uh, so mas tipid sa korente 